So what do you guys think of Florida so far? It's very um, warm. How was your ride down here? Just snapping. We're here! We just kind of appeared. We, I was actually lying on my bed. I was, um, and then I, all of a sudden. Where the buffalo roam, yeah. looking for yeah, a place to call home, but they all, they all die, die alone. Scientists think that this is where the Indians built an impressive mound to impress the unimpressed visitors. But me and Lydia up there, we think that this is where the Indians threw out their trash, their oyster trash. They ate a lot of oysters, they needed a place to place them, and they figured, you know what, let's just make a pile. And over the, the decades and centuries, the pile just kept on growing. And then uh, centuries later, the scientists come along and they go, well, we think this was a mound to impress visitors. This was an impressive mound. It's just a pile of oysters. I must say that the Indians built some wonderful decks. This is a wonderful decking no, and chairs. That, folks, is the ancient Indian tractoris. Okay, that's so interesting. That's pretty spectacular. You see that, Louis? Yes. Well, this guy looks like he's taking a poke there. What? <laughs> oh, what is that? That's an ancient um, heating source for the Indians. They, they found these, they would find these things in a, in a swamp area, and then they would collect them with much labor and intensity and then they would bring them over here and use him use that as as a as a as a heat source this this here folks this is where the indians got their uh, fresh water always important to have a fresh source of water uh, and this is this is how they got their water source uh, yeah, it's, it's in the history books. You should look it up. Of course, no self-respecting Indian tribe would collect all those oysters from the bay without having a barbecue pit to cook uh, those said oysters. So this is an important apparatus that the Indians had to uh, barbecue their oysters. And then when they, when they were done with the oysters, they had this uh, compactor here to throw out their garbage. So always important also to have a nice table uh, and that's what they had. Looks very similar to the tables that we have nowadays, but apparently it worked great back then too. It looks like the giant from the, the beanstalk. That's what it looks like. <laughs> what little man live here? These are the type of places you wanted to avoid. What they ate the most was oysters. And, and they, over the centuries, they just pile them up. And, and then you have a mound that's... that's uh... Did you say something, Louis? We are done with this place here. And now, where are we going next? We're going to the... We're going to see the manatees. Manatees. We didn't quite go to the other place that we wanted to go to, but we came over here and uh, there's plenty of manatees here, including pirates. We already did this before, but I wasn't filming. Darn it. He said that in the morning early, you can see them. He said when you see lots of noodles like that. Yeah. This. What 
you having? I'm gonna have the tuna tataki. Tuna tataki. Where is it? I'm a simple guy. Right I'm just gonna have the shrimp. And it almost looks tataki. like. Anything but the frog legs. <laughs> no frog legs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shrimpy. Right, I'll be right. Everything okay? I haven't tried it yet. It's okay. Not bad. How was it, Lydia? Very good. Very good. Mine was mine was good. Not as good as the one in what was that place? Here we are in the city of Carabelle with the smallest police station. We just realized that we need some practice. <laughs> we are not very good at this thing. We can just jump in there and start playing. I haven't played in years and Lydia probably, I don't know when she last played, probably never played. The kids are over there playing handball and we need lots of practice. <laughs> I got a friend of mine in uh, Minnesota and he sent me a package. He said I should open this on camera. I think he sent me a package of F.E. F.R. Muffins! I'm doing a production over here, Muffins! <laughs> I got a bag. Free air! Individually wrapped. Gordon, thank you very much. I'm gonna put an end to this barking. Individually packed. It's Christmas Eve and the kids want steak. So I figure I would come over here. We don't need a whole cow. We just we just want some. Can you get a little closer, please? I know it's bad. I right now I don't feel like eating steak because these are nice cows. So instead of butchering a cow still alive we just we just went to the store and we got some uh we got we got some steak yeah happy new year 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 we have some uh, juice clink oh you already you're filming it Ah, uh, oh man, that's strong. I think I like the free wine better. Oh. The free wine was way not better as good as you remember, Dad. Oh, I'm not. No, I would. I bought some. Uh, I don't drink wine, you but should like that with a match. Outside. I bought some Portuguese <laughs> port wine, yeah. Mrs. Sandman. It's Portuguese. Port. What's that noise? I can't have that. I can't have that. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to drink a little bit of this with sweet with sweets. I can't. <laughs> I don't have the taste for this anymore. And just one sip, it's already going like like here and going to my head. It just I uh, I just smell. It. How'd you like it, Elise? She's drinking water. <laughs> and Joshua didn't like it either. I only gave him a little bit at the bottom of the cup, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't like that. It's okay, but I remember when I was a kid, I liked it, but now it's, you know, I just, uh, it's not for me. You want the rest of it, Lydia? I can't 
can't even drink that. That is so strong. That other wine that we had before was so nice and light. And well, that was no, there was no alcohol in it. Yeah, but it was nice, you know. Well, yeah. Well, this. This is like I drink this, and like I feel like I can put a match and well, be a firework. After. Put it away when we have company over. You may have some fireworks, people. Fireworks. Will the firework or will we? What do you think, lady? Let's blow them up. That's a great idea. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, okay, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, the other way they're gonna blow up! Don't run away! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, he's dead. Mo, go to the middle, not near the grass, Lewis. Not near the grass! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was over. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. Bye. But there will be no more gloom for her who was in anguish. In earlier times, he treated the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali with contempt. But later on, he shall make it glorious by the way of the sea on the other side of Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Isaiah 9, 1, 2. What are you doing? Cooking, Lewis. <laughs> 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 Cooking, Lewis. <laughs>